Hello everyone, hope we're all good. A big thank you and a big shout out to everyone out there who likes, shares and comments on this channel. We're in Manchester now this is absolutely nuts. There's been three shootings in Moss Side. Someone's had his arm chopped off in Moston. There's been a murder and two stabbings in Gorton within the last seven days. I'm going to see if I can check out all three areas today and bring you any updates. I'm in Gorton, Manchester, where a 43-year-old woman was stabbed to death by a 22-year-old male who's been arrested and charged with two attempted murders and a murder. One on a 64-year-old fella and a 22-year-old girl. What his motivation was, I don't know. We'll have a little look at the area where this all happened. Just on a walkabout here in Gorton, you can see it. A rough old area, like. These streets look absolutely minty. Just rubbish strewn everywhere. Thanks for uh, having a chat with me. Um, tell me what happened from the get-go. So, on Sunday night at around half 11pm, we was all in bed, ready to go to sleep, and we heard screaming on the front. So first instinct was me and my mum and my boyfriend ran down the stairs, and as we've come down the stairs, we watched a young lad attacking his dad in the middle of the street. Um, we then found a little girl hidden in our next-door neighbour's garden, behind the car, praying for help. She was telling us that her mum was dead on the doorstep and if we could help her. So we brought her into our house, tried to do the best that we could. Um, not long after that, two of her sisters ran out of the house, what was under attack on the street. Um, sadly, one of them was attacked in the front garden, witnessed it all, being attacked for a good four to five minutes. Wow. It was just like torture. It was like we were watching a film in reality, like never seen anything like it, to be honest. It's been shocking. I mean... And that's not the first time you've, uh, you've experienced life crime, is it? No. Um, as, you, as my nan has mentioned, we're related to Lee Rigby, so we was kind of affected in yeah. the family in that situation. And this is kind of like an attack similar to that. It was torture. Ferocious. And I'd say it's affected us all as a community because we're all quite close on this street and we all know one another. Yeah. Um, the young man who's done this, he actually went to school with him. Yeah. I grew up with him and I know him quite well. This was out of character, it was not what any of us expected, especially like attacking your own members of the family, like... Do you know any, any idea why? What, what was, his, was he struggling with his mental health or...? Um, yeah, um, 
the little sister that we saved actually said that recently the mum thinks that he's been like the devil. Yeah. They think that he's got schizophrenia or something these past few weeks. Wow. He's not been the same. Um, only last week he strangled his mum. Previously that day, he brought a knife to one of the sisters, so she was worried and went out for the day. Came back at the night time and he was all under attack. Wow. Maya, honestly, God, thanks for your time. Here's a lot. Appreciate that. You're welcome. So under that bin bag in this garden, there's loads of blood still. It hasn't been cleaned. Please sit here. Well, quite mad. You know, surreal, I should say. That was Maya, the neighbour. She witnessed the whole event. She said he was like, oh, man possessed. It wasn't him, he'd just crazed look in his eyes. He wouldn't stop. And when she was shouting his name, he was saying it's not him. He's not who she's calling. Like, what the fuck possesses you to do something like that? Wow. That was his own mum. He stabbed and killed his own dad. He nearly killed, and his sister. All three got stabbed, one died. His youngest sister, who was only eight years old, was crying and hiding in the bushes in the neighbor's garden, praying. The neighbors said when they see her, when they seen her. They saved her life, because he was coming for her as well. He was fucking round a bend, absolutely crazed, I believe. Wow, we live in a fucking scary world. It's frightening. How are you, lad? All right, fella. Me in the right place here. Is this Boston? Boston, Boston yeah. yeah. Thank you. Boston, uh, let's get the facts right. Thanks very much, my mate. This is Ainsbrook Avenue. A man in his 20s got his arm chopped off here about six days ago. But he's been stabbed and they've had to take his arm off. Not too sure exactly what's happened, but it's gone off, hasn't it? Early hours in the morning, police have turned up. He's in a bad way. Life-threatening injuries. Has had to take his arm off. Let's have a little look around Moston, eh? The real Moston, not half a day. I'm going to start making sure, you know, get my bearings right. It's mad really, because when you're not from these areas, it's, it's easy not to be familiar with where you're going. You can be in one place and think that's where you are, but you're actually not. So forgive me if I, I make an error on some of the areas that I'm in. Someone just said to me, get behind the back streets on the lane. <laughs> That's where the real Moston is. Let's check it out, eh?
we must have landed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope so. It's crazy, isn't it? He's blowing up. And he's blowing up. Is it that bad? Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's from someone who lives here. Moston Lane. And he's blowing up. As far as I'll say. The full SP, full SP the full believe me, I don't know the full SP. It's seen a bit, pal. Well, like I said, mate, how far do you want to go back? 20 years? 20 years? Go back to, like, yeah, as far as you well, want like to go Well, like I back. said, you know, yeah, like I said, back in the day, like I said, you know, people, like I said, you know, people, like, did, you know, did, did their own things, you know, like, shops to shops, but, like, now it's, like, you know, Everything's changed, it's like, you know, I mean... I mean has not, it changed for the better or has it changed for...? I reckon for the worse, mate, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, don't get me wrong, I'm not a colour prejudice or nothing like that, but at the end of the day, it's like, yeah. it's like, you know... Is there a lot of violence here? Yeah, yeah, something like, yeah, it can be. Yeah. You know, like I said, but obviously, it's, it's, it's like, obviously, seems changing old drugs and all that, and it, you know what I mean? You know... Where, the where, where's the best place to go in Boston? Someone said the back streets, check the back streets out. Where are the back streets? Here. Yeah, <laughs> the back here. Is it? The entries, mate. I'll have a little look at them there then. Yeah, yeah. Like What's your name? My name's John, mate. It's John, nice to meet you, you know. Thanks for your time. Yeah, sorry, mate. I didn't do like I said, you know. But, like, you know, you've got to get on with it, mate. you got to, well, you know, like, how can I put it? you got to take the rough and just move, mate. You know what I mean? Like, I'm 56 years of age. At the end of the day, mate, I've seen, you know, I'll, I'll You've lived a little, haven't you? Oh, yeah. I've, I've lived there, mate, you know what I mean? But like I said, I've even seen people that I've known change. Yeah. You know, change for the worst. But like I said, that, that obviously, that's, their, the, that's the new the scenery. New, you yeah. know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. Well, thank you. You're welcome, mate. Yeah, so this is the back streets, the back back streets. These just all turn into little narrow rabbit runs. We're on Winston Road, coming out here. A bit of land here, but yeah, you can see this estate is a little bit rough. I get loads of good advice from people who are concerned, especially on the street. When they see me, they say, look, Bill, just be careful walking around with that camera. Well, it is what it is, and I'm doing what I'm doing. You know, I'm doing my thing, and they're doing their thing. I'm not going to lie, it can be intimidating walking through high crime rate areas, especially on your own and with a camera. 
he's just got a style. He's just got to march on through. You know, you're not new to the streets. You've been about Bill, so it is what it is. The back streets of Mostard. No big deal. What looks like another old pub that's been turned into a nursery by the look of it. Just bumped into a brother and sister from Master who have got family in Toxteth, the Gilberts. He said he wants to show all the time. Big shout out to Felma and your brother. Thanks for saying hello as well and making me feel welcome. You sure? Sure. What's your name? Lee. Lee. Hello, Lee. What's happening, Lee? Have you lost anything? Lee, I'm off. Take it easy. Lad, look after yourself, right? That type of hay being there, so we'll swear if that, that's already been like ticked off the list. Once again, thanks for watching. A little bit more on Moston, not the Arpare side. Arpare is not Moston, it's otherwise.